let's look at Toronto, Winnipeg, Montreal, Edmonton, and Hamilton and Saskatchewan. Those are the, the rest of the games on the schedule. So there's Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, those are two games that we would be talking about exclusively on to be determined, right? Uh, yeah, it would be what we're talking on to be determined. And, you know, there, there's there's some pieces there, you know, that, that are going to create a couple wrinkles in the data. But, you know, in, in the CFL, they have the twofer. They play in, in uh, many occasions, they play the same team two weeks in a row. So we got Toronto and Winnipeg tomorrow, and they're going to play each other again the following week. So it's in Winnipeg, but then the following week it goes to Toronto. Um, I In that scenario, I mean, Winnipeg is clearly the better team. Uh, but where the spread goes uh, from week to week, uh, that'll be a very interesting one to see. And the other one, this Winnipeg last week uh, against Hamilton, I think that, that you're probably going to see some lowered uh, game totals in both the Hamilton game this week and in the Winnipeg game, because that was a 19 to six game and Winnipeg and Hamilton, if they weren't playing together, they're each putting 30 points on the board. So, uh, you know, looking at, uh, again, I said, I like Calgary looking at tomorrow, um, Winnipeg for sure. And, uh, you know, the, the spreads aren't up yet. So at, at this point, it's difficult to give a number, but I'm going to be taking anything, any team total Winnipeg above 25. I'm going to be taking Winnipeg for the team total uh, in that game. And, uh, you know, the, the game of the week, the most exciting game to watch uh, as a fan is going to be this Hamilton and Sask game. Um, Sask had a 31 point lead at the half. They let BC back in for a backdoor cover this past week. Uh, and Hamilton uh, scored once. Hamilton doesn't have games where they only score uh, one touchdown. And, and this is going to be an angry team because they are coming off of a great cup loss to Winnipeg, then an opener two years later to Winnipeg where they only scored one touchdown and didn't get the PAT. And now they're playing against Sask. I don't know where the spread's going to lie. I'm going to be playing Sask money line on Saturday. I think Sask is a better team. Cody Fajaro is the quarterback. He's one of the highest paid players. He might even be the highest paid player in the CFL. He's the the new young gun, CFL Patrick Mahomes, if you will. And uh, so my plays for, for this weekend, like, like I just said, I, I'm going to be on Sask for the money line. And uh, I'm looking at Winnipeg, and I'm looking at the, the game team total, anything above 25, I think is a gift on Winnipeg. I think that they they probably going to have 20 on the board before the half tomorrow night. Well, that's, you know, that's the other thing I talk about when people say, you're crazy, you don't bet the preseason. When... The first time I realized w w how valuable my data is for preseason was when I noticed the se one day we're putting into totals, guys. Every single total for one of the sections was 17 and a half or 17. That was it. There was no outliers. It was just, I we don't know, make it 17. That's It was so obvious. We don't know, make it 17. Now, the Canadian lines are coming out late, West, but the bottom line is they don't know. They... They don't know. They're going to, they're going to, they weren't, last week we saw all dogs. We saw all dogs and two of those dog covers were dog win. Yeah, they, they don't know. Um, I'm interested to see where this Winnipeg and Toronto line goes because Winnipeg just beat Hamilton 19 to six. So now you take that over to Toronto and what does that translate to? Is it going to be a, a double digit point spread? I don't, I don't know that laying points after what we saw last week is the way that we want to go in the CFL. So it's going to be interesting to see where those lines go. Montreal against, against the Edmonton Elks. Um, you know, Edmonton didn't look very good this past week. Montreal hasn't played. That's so, the first so, game. That's the first game Saturday. And so yep, because that's, there's nine teams and they play four games, Montreal had that first buy. Yep, and that's that's a game where Montreal, you know, they have a, a fantastic mobile quarterback. He went, he went to Oregon, and, uh, you know, Montreal can score points, but that's historically not a great team. They certainly weren't a good team back in 19. The team doesn't even resemble what that team was. So I, that's a game I, I would stay away from because Edmonton didn't look very good. So how do they come back from last week? And they're going to be trying to figure it out. But I think that this this hamilton Sass game, they'll have that one right for sure. And I think it's going to be very close, two points on either side.